Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck, and I am outside my local mall because I just heard rumor there's an FYE in there. What? No one called me. No one emailed me. No one told me I had an FYE. I never get that. I see you guys tooling around in your malls with your FYEs. It's awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm jealous. But I heard back in September, again, no one called. Uh, it opened up, and I just found out. Just I just decided to Google FYE near me again and buy Cracky. It's here. So we're going to get inside and see if it's any good. So stick around. There it is. FYE, y'all. Look, before I jump in this store, do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, please hit like and subscribe. That would be super awesome. Now let's get inside and check it out. As I begin to walk through, I see a bunch of, uh, you know, novelty pop culture goodies, like all this stuff here from The Office. Good stuff. They have tons of puzzles, including uh, a couple of unique versions of Monopoly. Check it. And tons of Funko Pops. I am not seeing movies right away, though, so that gets me nervous. I finally find these two bins right here with movies, and that is it. So, start digging through. See what we get. Oh, a little six movie collection. Pretty good. Dead. Oh wait, hang on. Dead zone. So, all right. So this is like 33 bucks for the Scream Factory title. Uh, not the best price. Uh, you know, same thing with this They Live Here, 35 bucks. I guess that's to be expected. They're going full price. You know, there's no sales or deals on those particular titles. Well, 4K on Prince of Darkness. Whoo, 40 bucks. Oh, pass. Creep show. Now this for 40 bucks, I mean, it's still a little high, but if you check out this box set, it's pretty beefy. Check that out, man. I mean, still a little high though. Final countdown. I mean, they are kicking it in with some very good titles here, but very high in price. So I'm going to let all these go. It's a really rad lenticular though. It's pretty sweet. All right, let's check this out. It's a steel book of the new Nightmare on Elm Street for $7. But this is the one with Jackie Earl Haley. So even though it's $7, bucks, i am still going to pass. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Another steel book, Annabelle. And I've, I've never seen any of these films, so I know that's probably a good deal. But, uh, you know, 7 bucks is 7 bucks. Let's wait till we can find something that we want to spend that money on. Yeah, here's that. So all those titles, the Jack Ryan's are five bucks at Big Lots. But this Night of the Comet is nice, but full priced at 20 bucks. Now on this row, oh no, this is pretty decent. So you got an MVD title, but you know, you guys know when MVD has their sales, man, you can get this for like 12 bucks or something. So I'm gonna wait on that. Tons of horror titles here too. That's, that's not surprising, but Overall, a decent little collection. Prince of Darkness again, full price. Here's some more Blu-rays. Got this Jeepers Creepers here for seven bucks. <laughs> Coming at you. Uh-huh, 3D. Repo, the genetic opera. Fargo, huh, do not have that yet. It's another Jim Carrey classic. So, you know, not bad, uh, not a ton of titles. I'm a little disappointed that there's not rows and rows for me to dig through but at least I found these two bins to dig through and find a couple of titles. Unfortunately, I don't think this is a repeat shop, but uh, all right, I think I found what I need. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Well, we did it. That was the trip to my local FYE. And I don't know about you, but it was a little bit of a letdown. Uh, you know, again, I see you guys out there tooling around and, and your FYEs, and there's all these great rows and racks and everything of movies, and this was not that, man. You know, when I first came across those, just the racks of the TV shows on DVDs, I thought that was it. I thought that was, that was, that was out the door, and I just happened to just turn one last time and look towards the register, and there were those two little bins of Blu-rays and DVDs just sitting there. So, you know, I dug through those, and there was a few surprises in there, like there was some um, Arrow and Scream titles, so uh, and Shout Factory. So yeah, and, and the the Creep Show, yeah, that was like a little expensive. And Night of the Comet, that was intriguing and uh, almost went with that. And the Final Countdown, that was pretty pricey too. So you know, it was nice to see those there, but it's not like you can get a better deal by just walking in there than you know going to the website and waiting for a nice sale or something like that. So I passed on those, but I did stick with the uh, the rack that had buy three for 15. However, 
you could only get them with the stickers that said buy three for 15 and there was only two there that I wanted but there was a third one that was just five dollars so I brought the three up to the guy and said look can I get these three for 15 because the third one is a five dollar title it's not a nine or a ten dollar title he goes yeah I think I can swing that for you so I did it. I did walk away a little FYE with a little something. So I am happy um, that I did find three titles. It wasn't, you know, a huge score. And I don't see myself going back there a lot because there wasn't a lot to choose from. It's not like I could go back next week and, and just I have more rows to, to pick from. So I think this may be a, a once a month or every couple of months or something like that. But here's what I found starting with. Jim Carrey's Me, Myself, and Irene, directed by the Farrelly Brothers. Uh, I actually enjoy this. It's a little bit darker Jim Carrey film. It's uh, sort of like on, more on the lines of like Cable Guy than like Liar Liar or something like that. But um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it was pretty good. So it's, it also stars Renee Zellweger. So I'm happy to add that to my Blu-ray collection. Also, surprisingly, did not have this in Blu-ray, but bam, Fargo. See, it's also got the 3 for 15 there. But... Uh, it was nice to add this to the collection as well. I'm sure it's coming out on 4K soon, but whatevs. I mean, it's not like I've I've been itching to see this in the, the best format possible, like over and over and over, but I mean, maybe, you know, one or two more viewings on Blu-ray, that's fine. Now, here's the one that was five bucks. They, they gave me the three for 15. <laughs> I'm sure it's a steaming pile, but here it is. It's coming at you because it's coming at you. See what I did there? <laughs> anyway, uh, puns, man. Yeah, I don't know if this is any good. I, I think I saw this way back in the day, y'all, because I'm old, dude. But this was uh, a, a, an experiment at the 3D effect in the 80s. I don't recall it being super great at all, but for $5, you know, it, it was $16.99. Look at that, $16.99. But uh, yeah, it is now $5. So uh, it's got the 3D and the 2D version. So if the 3D is absolutely no good, then I, I got a nice watchable 2D backup on Blu-ray. So there it is. There's my three for 15. Feel pretty good uh, about finding something at this FYE. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for checking out this new. It's my first uh, big shopping video in uh, the year 2022. So get down there and hit like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've seen uh, coming at you recently, if it's a big old steaming pile or if it's actually... Maybe so bad, it's like hilarious. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Maybe I'll riff on it like MST3000 when I watch it. But yeah, so yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out my channel, and I will catch you later.